everyone. I've chosen this story today, Dirty Bertie. This was my boy's favourite story when they were little. Okay, and this is by a man called David Roberts. No, Bertie, that's Dirty Bertie. Will Bertie ever kick his horrible habits? That was the blurb. Let's see what the story's like. I hope you'll like it as much as my children. Dirty Bertie by David Roberts. This is Bertie. He used to have dirty habits. If Bertie saw a sweet on the floor, he would pick it up and eat it. But Bertie's mum would shout, no Bertie, that's dirty Bertie. If Bertie had a bogey up his nose, he'd try and pick it out. But dirty Bertie's dad would shout, no Bertie, that's dirty Bertie. Bertie liked to go hunting for slugs and worms in the garden and play with them. But Bertie's big sister Susie would shout, No Bertie, that's Dirty Bertie. Sometimes Bertie's dog would lick his face, so Bertie would lick him back. And Bertie's gran would shout, No Bertie, that's Dirty Bertie. If Bertie saw a cat do a wee on the flower bed, Bertie would do a wee on the flower bed too and everyone would shout, no Bertie, that's dirty Bertie. Bertie soon learnt not to wee in the flower bed. Or play with slugs and worms. Or eat sweets off the floor. Yuck. It's gone a bit green, hasn't he? Or even lick the dog's face. Blech. But there's one dirty habit that Bertie cannot stop. When no one is looking, he still picks bogeys out of his nose. And sometimes... He eats them. Oh. <laughs> okay, and that was Dirty Bertie. Thank you. Bye for now.